what's the deal with glissandos? Well, one thing, I think you want to keep your fretting hand moving. If you stop, it sounds pretty weird. You got to keep it moving kind of uh, consistently. That's with the uh, fretting hand. I usually use middle finger and kind of mute the other strings with the underside of my fingers so I don't get any extra strings ringing out. Um, but as far as the picking hand, here we go again. I think it's really cool to mute the strings slightly right here. Right where the string passes over the bridge saddle. So put the side of your hand right there. Chop! Then fall forward. Then you can get in there and do your operation, which is the picking part. So I hold the pick so only a tiny bit of the pick sticks out. The pick is on the side of my index finger. Right down to the tip, not up there. Not into the second bone or third bone, but the first bone. You got three bones in your index finger. Make sure it's on the first bone on the side. Let a little bit of the pick hang out. Make a little open space here. And again, set your hand on the bridge. And then let these fingers maybe touch the pick guard. And you're all set for some kind of uh, athletic uh, down up picking, some alternate picking. So. You pick a string, you know, you might, uh, sometimes you pick a specific note, but it could be just from way up here. It doesn't really matter that much where you start as far as a note, but sometimes it's a specific note. I think the first time I, w I saw this technique, uh, I tell a story too much, but uh, my best friend Kirk's uh, uncle came over and he said hey I played it in a you know, I played it in a band in the 60s let me check out your guitar we're like oh wow cool and he went like this he said that's pipeline we're like pipeline cool that might be something to practice is just uh, maybe around the th uh, 15th fret with your middle finger then you're playing E, B, G, B, but muted. See why that palm muting is so cool? Otherwise you got... Sounds kind of like uh, you're crushing it to death. Just be kind of sneaky about it. It's like hush. A lot more scary. So that's, you know, one recommendation, but you can also do it on the first string or you can go up, but usually it's going down. Uh, so we use those all the time in Surf Zombies. Um, it's kind of cool. I guess it's kind of a cliche, but it isn't everything these days. Everything's been done to death. You just got to pick what you want to do. And, um, you know, we're all going to be copying something, I suppose. Nobody's perfectly original. But uh, that's a, a nice little thing to throw into your uh, practice. You know, if you'll hear it in, in surf songs, that's for sure. All right, let me know what you think and uh, keep rocking.